to lap 90. That should have been a top line, Vince. <laughs> They're all lined up, 36 in the field, and we're getting ready to go racing. It's green at Talladega. John Hunter Nemechek with the jump. I say he dives to the bottom when they get toward turn. Already done it. Down low. And that's what I think we're going to see early, Phil. These leaders try to just manage this race by running right around the bottom of the racetrack. And then the outside lane will be seeing what kind of runs they can get to make progress on that lower line. Yeah, that initial start could have been predetermined, too, with teammates. Chandler Smith said, oh, I'm going to let you get in, and then we're just going to log some laps. John Hunter Nemechek dominated qualifying. I mean, he was so much faster than everyone else by more than a couple of tenths. How does that play out in a race like this where you're in the draft so often? Uh, it's, you just, everybody takes note, Vince. That's a fast truck. We're going to have to push him and work with him. But there you see Lawless walk away. Let's see if we can pick up what happens. Look at the replay. Wide, right there. in the middle oh, of the four wide. Four, see? Carson just had an issue getting out of the way. And then maybe it was... Was that a right front tire failure, it, Phil? It, it looked like it. looked like he... Certainly was right abrupt, off. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. You can see yeah. it, it, it blows the fender oh. off the truck. Man. Wow. Hard contact. As you mentioned earlier, you thought... Certainly coincidental that Carson was having a problem. That could have been debris, though, yeah. off a lawless Allen's truck that stuck in the front of Carson's truck. Yeah, Carson just bailed. And then, wow, what an impact for that 45 of Allen. Smith has edged ahead a bit as they hit the back stretch. If Chandler Smith wins this stage, it's going to be because of the four of John Hunter Nemechek and the pushing he's doing. Nemechek pushing Chandler Smith. Eck is Whoa. pushing Rhodes, and Rhodes gets out of shape a little bit. Rhodes is able to hang on to the right rear corner of that four truck, and that'll pull him back, back forward. Chandler Smith now working the draft, trying to get up there and cut off the lane of Rhodes to win the second stage. Chandler Smith wins stage two. Oh, well, we're pretty close. We had six of those playoff guys. Another big group. But see, if you're back there six, seventh place in line, you're down to pit road speed way before you get there. When you come by yourself, Vince, you can maximize. We'll see how it plays out with John Hunter, but I like that call. Oh, that a tire, a... tire bouncing across pit road, Absolutely. Jamie. Absolutely. I believe we call that a gaggle of trucks and chaos, as you saw that tire get away. Crew member goes to get it right sides only for Ben Rhodes. Josh. That's a uh, member of the, the uh, 66 of time Majeski pitting with the rest of the team, as you see that crew member going to get that tire. Uh, going to help out his team, of course, for Ty Majeski, the 52 of Storm Friesen, and to get tires and fuel as well. Same deal for the 98 of Christian Eckes, who you saw was running up front, guys. So with the caution coming out, uh, it really does does play into the hand of the four, Mike? Or? I, I, I don't know how it's all going to shuffle, but I, I, I think you saw there why I like pitting by myself. It's chaos. And he was able to avoid that. They pitted the very next lap and had those issues. And we saw that tire of Haley Deegan out in the middle, middle of the trial over there, and that was because either she hit her tire carrier or somebody may have hit her tire carrier and knocked the tire out of his hand. What a mess. You're exactly right. Here she comes in. Oh, that's she hot. did. Yeah, yeah, she caught the... And, and she, she crossed the line and ran into her tire carry, and that's why these... Now, these guys have to dodge this tire bouncing across pit road, and what a great job they did. And I would imagine that's what brought the caution out when that crew member ran so close to the racetrack, which is a no-no to get that tire. Interested in this combination of... Oh, oh! Piling up on the outside, Johnny Sauter involved, as is Tanner Gray and Grant Infinger, one of our playoff drivers in that 23 truck. Yeah, he's done. Maybe that strategy by Stuart Fries and Chandler Smith, Zane Smith are right around the back. It may have been pretty. Austin Wayne Self was that pink truck. Yeah, buddy, got a tire. 
Tanner Gray, Infinger. Oh. Was that Grant we were hearing? Yes, that the was right. Jeff, Jeff Hensley asked him if he cut a tire. The right rear's gone. Self had nowhere to go, and just Sauter got caught up, and so did Tanner Gray. I mean, it was just chain reaction. Look at the job Parker Kligerman does in the tie truck right there, slips Ooh, by. Right between Great driving. Johnny Sauter and, and Brett Holmes. You know, and sometimes it's those near misses that you go back at the end of the day after you've won the race and say, thank goodness. Watch come, watch come uh, tiptoeing along late in the spin. I don't know if we'll see him or not, but John Hunter Nemechek. De Benedetto giving a good push to Eckes. Holmes now to the back bumper of the 99 of Rhodes. And that's going to have momentum. He didn't get to him at first, but now that he's there, look at him come. Brett Holmes right now doing a great job pushing Ben Rhodes. Is he going to push him out in front? He is. They're both clear. Rhodes and Holmes, 1-2 now in front of Eckes. That momentum was impressive, and here they come on the outside. Now Eckes to the outside to join Rhodes, and the bottom line is moving with a push from De Benedetto. It's Holmes to the lead. A couple Chevrolets down on the bottom. De Benedetto and Holmes. The Toyotas are side drafting, trying to break that up. Coming to the white, ground. white flag is out. One to go. Next one ends it. Next flag ends it. Vince, as you mentioned. It's Holmes, the Alabama native, trying to win for the very first time in his Camping World Truck Series career. The former ARCA champ, he is out front. He might be too, out, too far out in front now, Vince. Here comes Rhodes with a push from Eckes' teammate on the outside. And Rhodes cuts in front of Holmes. Look at Corey Heim now pushing on the outside. Eckes on the outside, Rhodes on the inside, teammates at Thor Sport. Here they come into the tri-oval. Rhodes in the lead. Wreck to the outside. Rhodes still there trying to hold off. And the yellow and the checkers fly. And is it Brett Holmes? Holmes on the outside line and I think he did it. Carnage everywhere, but Brett Holmes snuck the high line, and I think he got to the line first. Wow, Matt DiBenedetto was sideways on the bottom. They were side by side. It was too close to call from me. You talked about two thousandths of a second, Phil. That's what the timing and scoring is showing now, but it's certainly unofficial. Wrecked vehicles everywhere. We really didn't have a big one. We, we also said at the top of the show, it doesn't, it's not over till the very finish of the last lap, and obviously so many trucks get torn up. And still not official. Watch this move. Crashing on the outside. Brett Holmes somehow gets to the bottom. Nemechek did a great job avoiding that. Sure did. Some big hits back in the back. There's the block to the top by Rhodes, and look, off the racetrack went to Benedetto and just straight up the outside is Holmes. I think it's, I think it's Holmes. Yeah. He's definitely farther, He's further across on the, the line, certainly, than to Benedetto. And that's what timing and scoring is saying right now that Holmes wins, as you mentioned, Michael, by two thousandths of a second. What a great shot, guys! Was the caution. The caution was out before they got to the start-finish line. Yeah, if the caution was out, then that's going to end the race, and they'll go back to whatever they need to video, whatever evidence they can use to support that. I think Holmes got Holmes got to the start to the finish line first, but the caution was out prior to that point, and that's what NASCAR is looking at to see which vehicle was actually in front at that point. And and if depending on the timing of the caution, the flip of the switch when the caution becomes official, De Benedetto was way out of bounds and sideways, so they got to understand all that. He got forced down there, so uh, there's a lot to consider. And he was wrecking, exactly. wrecking down there. So Johnny Sauter walking to the ambulance. Maybe Watch it. We're going to give you the replay again from above and uh, keep an eye on when the caution comes out as they start wrecking.
initially with Corey Heim. Yeah. Christian Eckes lost a little bit of momentum, and then Tyler Ankrum got in the back of Corey Heim right there. Yeah, that it depends. Like, if the caution flag comes out here, does, does Ben Rhodes win? I mean, it depends on yeah, how quickly yeah. the caution came out. And it's hard to tell from the angles which truck was ahead of which when the caution actually like does look how come out. Long Ben Rhodes is ahead here, though, Vince. Yeah. Like and that's crashing. They're crashing. Is the yellow out? And remember, it's not the caution flag waving. It's it's when they flip the switch to turn the lights on. See Nemechek and Friesen both sliding through the infield travel grass. That's not enough of a... It's official. The 25 of Matt DiBenedetto, the winner at Talladega. His first career win. Guess how many laps he led, Vince? Did he add to the string, Mike? <laughs> Way to go. Can you believe yeah. that? How about that? So glad for Curtis, Chad Kendrick, and all the guys there from the Rackley team, and Matt and Benedetto. Well, what about the job he did hanging on to that oh, thing? Gosh. He was crashing coming yeah. to the checker flag. So much was expected of this team when it, when Benedetto came over, just because I think the fact that, you know, here's a guy that's been in Cup Series seven years. Now he's coming to the trucks. They're going to come out gangbusters. And it's been a struggle. I mean, they've had some struggles, and they've gotten better and better and better. And today, they finally get what they've been searching for, the checkered flag, their first win, and only led one lap. We talked about the unpredictability. <laughs> you better stick around to the finish. Yeah, unbelievable. Fifth year in a row. Oh, and how heartbreaking when you see the celebration for De Benedetto and company. How heartbreaking it must be for Brett Holmes, who I'm sure believed that he was the winner of the race. But the chaos at the end. You sift through it, and you come out with Matt DiBenedetto. You know, and it's interesting. I, I talked earlier about Ben Rhodes saying, we, we, we can win this race today. This is, this is our race to win. He was so close to doing just that and putting himself securely in the championship four. But still a great day for Ben. Josh Sims is with the winner. Matt DiBenedetto, this is a moment I'm sure you've thought about for years throughout your career, what does it mean right now to be celebrating your first career victory? Oh man, it's such a long time coming. Oh, praise God. All glory to God. And thank you so much. Thank you. Man, my fans are, I'm so thankful. They, they have bared with me through so much and me being a very reckless human being sometimes just through life. And that's so much life change. I'm so thankful. So thankful to do this. I'm so th grateful for everybody. I love, I love you all. I love the fans, Rackley Roofing, the War Shocks, uh, this whole team. I'm out of breath. That, that, I think I was more nervous waiting to hear what happened. Yeah, and talking about that, I mean, not only break down that final lap, but break down the weight you had at the end and what was going through your mind during this last 10 minutes. Oh, man. My spotter, Doug Campbell, is awesome. We work together so good. I think in the Cup Series we've led on like the white flag twice here or something at Talladega. So I owe a lot to him. And at the end there, we were just really committed to staying on the bottom and pushing this thing. It pushed well, so I was just committed to staying there and pushing whoever's in front of me. And I'm so grateful. I don't even, I'm, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a beautiful day and all these race fans. This is amazing. This team deserves it. Curtis Sutton, my team owner, Rackley Roofing getting behind me 100%. Supporting me is absolutely amazing. And Willie Allen, our other team owner, and War Shocks, and my crew chief, Chad. All these guys, man, they, we've gone through some growing pains, and this is much deserved. I'm so proud of this team. Congratulations, Matt. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.